Kiwanis Manor is an apartment complex for senior citizens in Tiffin, Ohio, and it's named after its sponsor, the Tiffin Kiwanis Club. It also houses one of the most active community center programs for senior citizens in the area. This group of ladies have been getting together every Monday morning since the Kiwanis Manor facility opened in 1972. Today, they are en route to nearby Attica, Ohio to entertain for senior citizens of that small rural community. They travel to senior citizen centers, nursing homes, festivals, parades, and schools in and around the Tiffin area to entertain. They call themselves the Kiwanis Kitchen Band. The Kiwanis Kitchen Band is a mixture of old-timely dresses, bonnets, smiles, and gadgets. The gadgets are sundry types of noisemakers, mostly kazoos attached to plastic bottles, which have been cut into shapes resembling trumpets, trombones, and other musical instruments. These ladies create their own outfits and instruments themselves, applying both art and wit to produce something that will add both a beat and a humor to their singing. For a song is the backbone of this group. Cleo Murray is one of the original members and has been the group's director for the past 11 years. She schedules programs to be performed and is the mistress of ceremonies for the group. Mrs. Murray, what is the Kiwanis Kitchen Band? 
Well, it is 17 old gals. We don't call ourselves old, though. We're senior citizens. We all live in the Kiwanis Manor. And it's that gorgeous building over here on Sunday, the river. And we're so glad that we have this place because we feel that we're a family. So that was the one reason I think we got started. What about the instruments you use? Oh, those are fun. Uh, we didn't have any instruments. That we got kazoos, and uh, most of us just had the kazoos in the beginning. And so we just, uh, I think Reverend Chapman said, why don't you make uh, some instruments? So through him and a, a carpenter that we had, in the, uh, he was a Kwanian, helped Gene us, uh-huh, Dean Martin, wasn't it? Uh, helped us to uh, make our instruments. They're crazy looking. What and are some of those instruments? Well, they're all those uh, uh, those bottles that you get things from the the laundry uh, detergents and that sort of thing. And we just decorated them up and put the kazoo in the top. And you'd be surprised; they s s really sound almost like an instrument. When you're performing for these uh, area nursing homes, uh, uh, church groups, or even festival goers, what kind of reaction do you get uh, from your audience? The this sad one, I'll tell you first, is where we go to a rest home and we have uh, our audience is brought in on practically beds. And then they, they can't clap and they can't show their appreciation, but they, um, we go to them, and they hang on to you and don't want to leave you go. Now that is one that is very lasting one, not a happy one. And then, of course, they, um, we go to so many places where they come up and they join in. And I always ask them to sing whenever they want to. And the sing-alongs are very popular in the various groups, in mother-daughter banquets and things like that. How do the gals feel after a performance? And of course, the audience reaction always is uh, something that's pleasing to a performer, but how do the gals feel about it? In the but they're always so glad, and they go out and shake hands with the, the people, and they, they, they seem to appreciate you doing that. And uh, they'll come and, and hang on to you. I almost lost the bus one time because they hung on to me, and they forgot I wasn't there anymore. What kind of songs do you sing, Mrs. Murray? We have uh, tried to keep within our age group of songs that were popular during that time. And, <clears throat> uh, well, for instance, we've done this song ever since we've been in the band. I've been working on the railroad. to their singing with a variety of special numbers, often adding their own lyrics, like 
in the shade of the old apple pie. Then there is the clever routine of a dancing wooden doll. To briefly put both song and music to rest, there are humorous readings. No monkey shine. <coughs> Three monkeys sat in a coconut tree, discussing things as they're to be. Said one to the other, now listen, you two. There's a certain rumor that can't be true, that man descended from our royal race. The very idea is a disgrace. No monkey ever deserted his wife, starved her babies, and ruined her life. And you never known a mother monk to leave her babies with others to bunk, or pass them around from one to another till they scarcely knew who was their mother. And another thing you'll never see, a monk built a fence round the coconut tree and let the coconuts go to waste forbidding all other monks a taste. Why, if I put a fence around a tree, starvation would force you to steal from me. Here's another thing a monk won't do. Go out at night and get on a stew, or use a gun, a club, or a knife to take some other monkey's life. Yes, man descended the ornery cuss. But brother, he didn't descend from us. <laughs> the Kiwanis Kitchen Band hosts a variety of entertainment, and part of their program is reserved for individual band members to display their talents as a solo or duet. Are your members well do you want all 18 oh. 17 of us well I'll have to check a list I have so I don't want to leave any of my girls out but I'll give you a little notation on each one which might introduce them and you'd have better idea of them Modella six now she's the little girl that plays the drums she also writes words to other people's songs that we do. Don't tell these other people we're doing it. Helen Ruder, she is our pianist and she's the backbone of our um, group. And if we make a mistake, she goes right on and nobody ever knows it. Or if we do, she does the same thing, see. And she's certainly invaluable to us. Elsie Hopple. She came here from Florida 
I don't know just how long ago. She's been with us, though, for some time. She sang with a, um, you may have heard of this trailer park in Bradenton, Florida. At one time was the biggest one that was that anyone knew about. She was with their kitchen band, so she's an actress. She's very good for us. Dorothy Ale, she and her husband both live here, and she was a former teacher. And by the way, she and her husband puts on some very lovely um, slide programs. Very interesting, too. So she's very valuable, too. Gracie Schreiner. Well, I don't have words enough to, to say all of the things she does, but she's a good soloist, puts on good little uh, songs for us, sketches, rather, and we need her, too. Hazel Phillips and uh, Ruth Markley are both um, lead sopranos, and they do solos, and they have excellent voices. Marie Anderson, she and I are two of the oldest ones in the band, and I mean that literally, too. And she's still with us. We're hoping to keep her with us. Rosella. Carla Trujillo. She's one of the girls, one of our group that we depend on for volume. She's pretty too. And Marie Thomas. Now she is one of our altos. We had so few altos that we're very lucky to have a few of those. And she also plays organ and other little instruments to help our band out. Ruth Fisher. Well, she does mostly readings. Of course, she has a good voice, an excellent voice, and it tells in her readings. And as she has this quality about her. Um, she senses her program we're going to. She, she does her readings that hits that group and will fit in with that group, and that's valuable. And let's see now, then there's about five girls who are brand splinter new. Winifred uh, Groman, uh, Helen Wagner, Margaret Mitchell, Phil Langle. By the way, she is a um, sweet adliner, and her voice, you know, has to be good to be a sweet adliner. And uh, Mabel Smith is the last one we signed in. She hasn't been out with us on a program as yet, but Attica, the next program, she will be with us. And I think that, oh, myself, I almost forgot myself. I've been doing singing since I was three years old. My brothers thought it was so smart to teach somebody that could hardly talk to sing and whistle. So since then, I've been in groups and done choir work uh, professionally and otherwise. And we try to have wild-looking costumes. That's the first impression they get of you. And they have to laugh, and they enjoy um, seeing, well, a bunch of crazy old women. That's what a lot of people say. But we don't think we are. The group is dedicated to the preservation of old, timely, happy tunes occasionally writing their own lyrics and routines. These ladies are enterprising, and most of all, happy. And what better way is there for a senior citizen to behave than the combination of both joy and fun? We 